Hello students. So welcome back to the part two of the lecture series on previous year gate questions of electronics and communication on the topic of sinusoidal steady state response. This lecture series is brought to you by Team Edemigo. So let's start with the questions directly. So this is a previous year question. Now here we have to find the, here it is given that 100 cos 3t is the input and we have to find the amp ratio of amplitude of V2 upon V1. Okay, a very simple question. So let's first of all convert the whole circuit into phasors. So the input was 100 cos 3t. So it will be written as 100 angle 0 degree and here omega equals to 3 ok resistance is 4 inductance is j omega l and since it is given in the figure that l equals to 1 henry omega equals to 3 so it is 3 j now this capacitance the impedance of the capacitance is 1 upon j omega c since c is 1 upon 36 omega is 3 so it is equals to minus j 12 okay so the current that will flow in this loop is i or I can say it's the phasor I. Okay, now for example, this is uh, it's given that this is V1 voltage, this is V2 voltage. So V1 voltage will be phasor I multiplied by the impedance bit of this. So the impedance of this resistance and inductance in series. So that is. 4 plus 3j and v2 will be the impedance of this resistance and capacitance in series so i 5 minus 12j okay now if we want to find the amplitude ratio of amplitude of v2 upon v1 so that is we have to find this and magnitude of v2 is magnitude of current multiplied by the magnitude of this resistance that is 5 divided by magnitude of current divided by the magnitude of this that is I think uh, I made a mistake here so uh, sorry so V2 is this so the magnitude is 13 and V1 is this magnitude is so the answer is 13 upon 5 that is 2.6 so very simple question straightforward simple question okay now let's move on to the next question okay so it is given that we have we have this circuit we have to find the voltage across capacitance that is VC okay So it's a very simple question. First of all, let's redraw the circuit, and the circuit will be five sine five t, and these two resistances are in series, so it can be written as two thousand kilo ohms. Sorry, two hundred kilo ohm. Capacitance is one microfarad, and since omega is equal to five. Capacitance is 1 microfarad, so 1 upon j omega c that is equal to minus j 10 to power 6 divided by 5 that is equal to minus j 200 kilo ohms. Okay, now let's convert this into a phasor, the whole circuit. 
so when we convert this into a phasor this will be written as 5 angle 0 so 5 sin 5t is written as 5 angle 0 this is 200 kilo ohms and this is an impedance or capacitance which has impedance minus j 200 kilo ohm so by voltage division rule vc will be equal to 5 angle 0 multiplied by minus j 200 kilo ohm divided by 200 kilo ohm plus or minus j 200 kilo ohm simple voltage division rule so this will be minus 5j divided by 1 minus j okay so this will come out to be so the if you write the numerator is minus 5j and denominator will be written as root 2 okay and angle minus 45 degree so this will be equal to 5 divided by root 2 minus 45 degree because numerator has minus 90 degree angle so this is your vc now if you want to convert it into time domain from phasor now since we know that angle 0 was sine 5t so angle minus 45 degree will be 5 by root 2 sine 5t minus 45 degree okay so this will be the answer and if you uh, if the and since it is given in pi so this will be 5 by root 2 sin 5t minus pi by 4 so this will be the answer and if you match then you can see that the answer is c okay so we have solved this question it was a very simple question there is uh, no big deal in the question now let's look, move on to the another question okay so in the question we have to find the value of omega so that the magnitude of phase, magnitude of phase difference between voltage v1 and v2 is pi by 4 radians okay so first of all let's convert the circuit into phasor so it is 100 angle 0 degree this is resistance 1 the impedance will be j omega l is 1 so it is 1 so j omega and this is again resistance 1 ohm resistance v1 and v2 now let us assume that current i is flowing here so current i phasor will be equal to 100 divided by 2 plus j omega because the total impedance in the circuit is 2 resistances in series and 1 inductance in series now v1 volt phasor is equal to current phasor multiplied by 1 that is 100 upon 2 plus j omega and v2 phasor will be i phasor current phasor multiplied by 1 plus j omega so that is equals to 100 into 1 plus j omega divided by 2 plus j omega okay now if we look at v1 so it is actually equal to 100 divided by under root of 4 plus omega square and the phase will be okay, so the phase will be 
minus 10 inverse omega by 2. So from where I am getting this? Let me explain you. Okay. So as we know that A plus JB has magnitude under root of A square plus B square and phase is 10 inverse the imaginary part divided by real part. If we want to find the magnitude and phase of 1 upon A plus JB, then it is 1 upon under root of A square plus B square angle 10 inverse B by A. Now if we put the angle to the top, so it gets a minus sign. So it can also be written as magnitude is 1 upon under root of A square plus B square and phase is minus 10 inverse B by G. So this is the method. So this is what I have applied here also. Now, if you look at V2, so the numerator will have magnitude 100 under root of 1, up, 1 plus omega square divided by under root of 4 plus omega square and the phase of numerator will be 10 inverse omega. Phase of denominator will be 10 inverse omega y 2. So the total will can be written as 1 plus omega square divided by under root of 4 plus omega square and the phase will be 10 inverse omega minus 10 inverse omega y equation number one equation number two now if you see the difference in the phase of v1 and v2 so you just have to observe the phase of v1 so i'm marking highlighting it with green and i'm highlighting this with orange so if you see the phase difference between the voltage v1 phase and v2 phase so the phase difference is 10 inverse omega where V2 voltage lead the V1 voltage. So 10 inverse omega and since 10 inverse omega should be equal to as it is given that the phase difference should be so what is given phase difference should be pi by 4. So 10 inverse omega is equal to pi by 4. So omega is equal to 1 radian per Okay, so this is the answer to the question. So here we stop for part 2 of the lecture series. In part 3, we will be continuing solving the previous year questions of the sinusoidal steady state response questions. So thank you guys. Stay tuned.